What up and good morning. So as promised, we are back now Sunday. Yesterday we used um, Atlas Pomade by Templeton Tonics and so now we have to build up this basically post shower. You can kind of see how it still clumps together. Not very waxy at all, but just also, I mean, you can, I personally can get away with just leaving it like this the whole day. But what I want to test out today is actually using their hair tonic in order to kind of revitalize it, revitalize the buildup, kind of get something going again, and kind of slick things back. So we're gonna see how that, how well this uh, product uh, does that and performs that. But start off, of course, by looking at not the jar but the bottle. So this is it right here, Templeton tonic. Um, I would guess this is a two ounce bottle. It actually doesn't say anywhere. It also doesn't say on the website, but just look and feel. I'm guessing somewhere around two ounces. Labeling, metallic, same kind of style. Nice green glass bottle. I do like that. Um, ingredients on one side and kind of instructions or directions on the other side. And metal cap. I believe this is the heritage. Um, set which is why we have the H um, kind of written down on top because also just like the pomades you can get custom scents with this one as well and yeah so let's go ahead and use it so we've only really looked at like a very small not even handful a very small pinchful of like liquid products for styling here on this blog so we've looked at a grooming spray so something more like a primer to kind of set your hair before you apply and we also have a sea salt spray which also is more towards just a standalone like use it for texturing on a very light day and then tonics are also very different because then these are like oils and oil based unlike those water based products um, this one is kind of a little more versatile and very different so just as different as clays and water bases are to oil based like this is just the same thing anyways Actually, I don't even need to take off my glasses. Um, the scent, or the heritage scent, is actually like very nice. It's it's a uh, one of the like very well balanced ones. I mean, you can read the description online. It's more like heritage in regards to like an old barbershop like scent, but it has like a citrus, herbal, not spice, but herbal musk s type of scent, and overall like a very pleasant scent. But anyways. What I tend to do is just put a little bit in my hand at first, and I do prefer to use this with buildup. This is I t uh, I wouldn't typically well me personally I don't use it uh, as a standalone, just because my hair is super straight and also doesn't have volume in and of itself. So if I were to add this to hair that doesn't have any buildup or anything in it, then it will literally just fall forward and not stay back because my hair just is like that. But, so, the idea is that we don't really need much, just enough to really just get things going again, to really just give it, and just also kind of, as the directions or like kind of the use, suggested use describes it, it really does break down the build up. So, th what was once kind of really clumping before, really kind of just eases up now. Yeah, so that all applied and moved around, we'll go ahead and just comb things back. Just because when the oil was applied, it really ca catches on real quickly. And then you really want to go ahead and just work it through everything. So what you really see happen is just like what was once really kind of clumpy and kind of just kind of on the thicker and denser side has really kind of just freed up and loosened up and so I mean with this now we'll go ahead and just style it by essentially just finger combing it because I mean I didn't you can but I didn't add enough oil to the point where everything gets like super slick together and, and then you can style like a, I don't know like a low comb over or like a low part of some sort 
I just added enough to kind of break things down because I still want that like volume, whatever little waxiness was left over, I still want it to have some form. I want a bit of volume and essentially like a textured, a loose slick back. And so nice thing is that you can definitely get it with this like tonics help. Because now what was once kind of just kind of stuck in the form where like, for example, like sleeping with the oral base really pushes it to really settle down in a certain like shape and the shower helps to reset it but this tonic really really like helps you completely reset it and then are able to reform it and so this is definitely something like i would walk out or something i would have and something especially today is sunday where i want to relax this is definitely like a very good like match for it so yes like kind of like just with i guess still kind of talking in the framework of a pomade of some sort like the consistency of the application, it is like a very like, it's a tonic, it's an oil. And so it can potentially feel pretty greasy as you apply, but it does tend to catch on to the hair, which then helps you prevent it from really like kind of just dribbling down to your scalp right away. Either way though, if you do have a dry scalp or you have used the dry product in the past, you can also potentially kind of let a little bit fall onto your scalp to kind of revitalize that and make it feel a little bit better. Cause there are some harsh products out there and I when using this I was like you know this actually might be a good add-on for that um, this is definitely pretty slick for sure no question about that just given that it is just a bunch of oils and the nice thing is that it was really damn right quick at like just kind of breaking down that and loosening up that buildup so things feel very clean very just relaxed right now and light overall and I'm actually pretty happy with the amount of I guess the amount of volume that I can still get out of it because there was barely any wax. As I, I, as I hinted at in the review yesterday, there's barely any waxiness that resides in like the buildup from the Atlas pomade. So the fact that you, you can still get a good amount of volume because the oil here does add a little bit of like that bounce back is very nice. But yeah, so go throughout the whole day now and then we'll come back in a few hours and then kind of just talk about whether or not it got absorbed and just kind of just completely disappeared or it actually stayed around, kind of kept my hair out of my face and kept things a little more organized, but still relaxed on a Sunday. So, see you guys then. All right, so we're near the end of the day and I'm actually very excited to just show you guys kind of just how it fared through the day. I mean, so, I honestly expected to get all absorb or evaporate or just kind of disappear and for my hair to kind of lose that luster and basically just fall completely apart just because it kind of broke down the buildup and without that it's kind of going to fall apart but what happened was that like it remained and it feels very good it feels very refreshed very relaxed and like my hair still this that oil doesn't make it look ridiculously shiny but it allows my hair to be like look like a very deep black which i really like like and appreciate the resilience i guess what's the word to say like it is resilient in that it gets absorbed a bit but it never it doesn't really disappear yes it was a cool and chilly day what I was actually really happy with is that even though it was really windy, my hair actually never went forward and into my face. It fell to the sides and whatnot, but like it still kept everything looking good and kept it kind of like up and out of my face, which is very surprisingly good. Restyling it definitely, like I said, it remains present, so you can definitely get it back. Bring a comb it with the comb doesn't really matter. You do lose a bit of the volume, as you can see, but I mean, this is not like it's this is this isn't a pomade. So either way, very impressive. Um, greasiness or oiliness, surprisingly, like no, not bad at all. Like, I mean, it's it, it's I mean, it literally is oils, and so you feel that, but it still feels very clean and doesn't really melt onto your face. And overall, it's just very a pleasure to just have in general. So, like, I mean, also. I guess to mention it as well, removing it super easy because it's like not petroleum, it's just oils, like just a simple like rinse of anything that's like a detergent, basically like a, sh a shampoo of any kind should be able to remove it very easily. Um, but yeah, so this tonic receives my seal of approval. I think this is honestly 
one of the best options for me on like a Sunday or any day I want to just relax better than like a sea salt spray better than a grooming spray just because those they do dry the hair to some extent which can make it a little uncomfortable to run my fingers through and this obviously because it's just oils it makes it super easy and super just relaxing not even I don't even have to think about it so I really appreciate that it's definitely something I would use like let's say in the morning like before I run before I go to the gym and if I still have something left over from the day before and I want to kind of just rejuvenate it a bit like this is going to be like what I grab nowadays so yeah if you guys are interested we do offer a promo code you guys buy direct from them the pump all caps but other than that hope you guys got something out of this review and take care